what is price action trade? Right? So many times people have always talked about you know um, price action, but what does it even mean? Is it like the action in the prices or like the movement in the prices and we see some actions there or, or what? All right. Hey guys, Joey here, top tier stockbroker in Singapore and um, chief trainer at Trading Impossible. Right? So in today's video, right, this I would say would be the ultimate price action stock trading course. And if you are a complete beginner, you definitely want to watch this video all the way to the end because we're going to cover on price action. What does it even mean? How do we use price action? Is it like looking at the candlestick, looking at the prices, looking at the volume and all that? How do we do it, right? So we'll kind of like, you know, go through step by step. We'll even look at a, like a live trade so that I'll share with you the entire thought process and we hopefully we do make some money as well, all right? And kind of like build a plan uh, while we have seen a certain price action at certain areas, right? So we want to look at price action in terms of finding them at certain zones, or right? I call it the sweet spot or the hot zones. And that's where we want to find this price action and not just, you know, anywhere in the chart or anywhere uh, whether the stock moves up or down, right? We look at them in terms of specific areas and we do see some price actions at certain areas. That is where we have a very high chance of winning or taking a trade very high probability trade in the stock market, right? So that's what will be covered right now. So let's dive into um, the content, right? So this will be covered, right? So basically we look at what is a price action? What does it even mean? All right, and where do we search for such price action? We look at the chart as well. I walk you through, uh, we kind of like build a trading plan and we'll get some examples of a reversal price action on the charts to catch any reversal. So if we see any, you know, um, price action like candles at certain areas whereby it can point to a good reversal that's where we can start to get in and catch the rebound right to right the upside that's what we look at in terms of the chart as well there'll be a live trade example we'll walk you through and how do we time our entry and exit what is the plan i mean at what price should we enter what is the potential price we can exit as well all right and, and that's what will be covered in terms of the trading plan and you know how, yeah, how do we build a trading plan based on the price action and of course we'll look at other factors as well to increase our winning rate right so as i say we don't want to just look at price action or like a particular candlestick bar or particular day uh, prices and no we want to look at uh, a you know, a series of factors right step by step and look at like maybe the trend uh certain indicators that can help us to determine the trend and we want to take um, trades that are along with the trend right so that's what we covered before all right we look at the price action and how it can actually help us to you know increase our odds of winning much more all right so let's dive into it right now so yes go ahead to give me a like you will definitely help out the channel and thank you so much for doing that and you know before we dive into it make sure you smash the subscribe button if you have not yet done so so that you will not miss out on any videos like this right go ahead to do it smash the subscribe button before we move on So firstly, before we even look at price action, which means like, you know, certain bars, certain candlestick bars, this, which, um, you know, can point towards like a reversal, right? we want to make sure that we are taking trades along with the trend, all right? So in this case right here, I have this stock right here called uh, Grand Venture, all right? And uh, basically, we can see that we are pretty much in a good uptrend, I would say for this company, all right, over the past four to five months. So I can draw what we call an upward um, sloping channel support line. Look at this right here. This is like an upward sloping channel support line, which kind of like, you know, connects the lows, right? So we have been forming higher lows all this while. So there's, uh, I would say, a company that has, you know, pretty good uptrend, all right, very strong uptrend. Uh, we can, you know, prices have been holding above uh, this upward sloping channel support line. And pretty much buyers are kind of like prepared to buy at higher prices, uh, even though it pushed higher, right? So each time it pushes back down, buyers are kind of like prepared to step in again to defend that level and push it back up. And you know, along the way over the past like you know three to four months, we have been forming what we call higher low. So that's a good sign of an uptrend. So we want to think about buying first of all. I mean, we, we, even before we look at price action, as I say, we want to think about you know buying stocks like this, all right, in an uptrend. So I would not focus on too much on like how did we look at the trend and all that. But very quickly, let me just share with you another way. Of looking at the trend right so basically we have this um, green line right here and this would be what we call the 20 days uh, moving average so like a short-term moving average and you can see that prices have been holding quite steadily above this green like as you count approaches rebound approaches rebounded all right and yeah this moving average green line is like pointing up and prices have been pretty much above it as it moves up right all the way up to somewhere around that 132 i think 130 yeah 135 level and that's where we saw a bit of profit taking started to come back down 
All right, so but pretty much a good uptrend, I would say, in terms of the short term. Of course, we can see profit taking along the way, which can actually present a good opportunity to get in again. All right, so let's take a look at the prices before we kind of see what what you know what is a trade that can be taken based on you know right now, and if there are any kind of like a price action that point towards a reversal. All right, so you can see prices will be pretty much consolidating uh, below the one dollar and ten cents level right here for like about two weeks. All right, and then we come broke the 110 level and went all the way to about 135 and we're like consolidating all right but eventually it kind of broke this like 130 130 support so quite a bearish price action so price action we look at the candlestick bar all right so candlestick bar uh, a bearish price action would means quite a bearish candlestick all right of course we can look at the volume as well but right here it was like consolidating from like 130 to 135 and then it broke the 130 and that's where some heavy selling came back right so if you have like kind of got in to ride the uptrend what can happen is you want to take steps to protect your profits maybe you can have a stop loss at maybe 127 128 if you have got you know got in all right and then when it comes like broke down you could have got out automatically by setting what we call like a stop loss so it can't protect your profits all right but more importantly as it pushes down i mean yeah you want to get up because you don't want to think you know you don't want to like hold it as it pushes all the way down and then you're just holding on right? you want to have a plan to get out and protect your profits as prices go to rise up but more importantly as i say um you want to think about getting in again all right getting in again i mean thinking about getting in again only when you know there are some uh, stability in prices only when there are like some reversal uh, candlestick price action that is coming in it points towards like a new support being found and that's where you can start to think about getting in again all right to ride the uptrend even further even though you have got out you have, you have made some money great all right but what about getting in again all right to catch the reversal to do you know to, to ride the recovery again to make even more money all right and that's how we can use um you know price action which we pretty much look at um certain candlestick all right but before we look at price action first of all we want to look at you know where are the areas right so where are the areas of um, value or right? areas or you know pretty much the hot spot whereby we can uh want to we want to spot you know certain price action or certain candles happening there right so for example as i say it went up to like 135 it broke the 130 so prices have been coming down down you can see one two three four four days of down so i mean if you just rush to get in you know at maybe like 125 or 120 and then you think that it's cheap all right and, and you know the prices might actually just continue heading down all right so what we want to do is as it heads down we want to see it heads towards a certain level or certain support level all right and then wait to see if there are any reversal candle candlestick patterns over there all right so what would be a good support so as i say one dollar and ten cents or maybe even the one dollar look at this this would be what i call a really good um support level right here from one dollar to one ten all right one dollar would be like a psychological level it was like the resistance turn support so that is where you know we can start thinking about you know taking trades right in terms of the reversal getting in to catch the rebound all the way back up to maybe like 130 135 that would be the upside from one dollar all the way to 110 but doesn't mean you know prices it just hits to one dollar or 110 or 105 or 10 you know anything within this range then you want to get in right? because i mean price can hit there but if it does break the one dollar it might even hit to like 90 cents or 80 cents right it might even hit lower right so those are the potential levels whereby we can think about you know getting in right but only if we were to spot all right certain price action as i say bullish reversal candles right and it seems like i've, I've kind of like spotted it over the past few days so before i look at the chart and explain to you maybe let me just dive back to the slides to explain to you what are some of those you know bullish reversal price action or candles that we can you know potentially spot in these areas in these areas of value which can point towards a reversal right so i'll jump back to the slides before we come back to the chart again okay so what are some of the price action that we want to look for in an uptrend all right as i say we don't look at price actions uh we want to take long positions in the uptrend all right at certain good areas of value but we want to look at you know spotting this price action or this candles in these areas of value all right before taking a trade rather than just you know as it approaches the areas of value and you don't wait for any confirmation you just enter it could actually break like a support and hit down even lower all right so we want to kind of like spot certain bullish reversal actions at those really good support levels in an uptrend which can point towards a reversal and that's why you can think about getting in again to ride the rebound or maybe even for the uptrend to continue further 
All right, so what are the price actions to look for in an uptrend? So we look at like a reversal candlestick, you know, spotted near the support and resistance level. So in this case, in terms of the uptrend, as it dips to what we call the support level. So in that case, just now, I think we mentioned about $1 to $110. That is where we could potentially see some support. But we want to spot certain things, certain candles like this right over here. So the first one will be this um, thing right over here. I call it like a hammer, all right? People call it a hammer. Doesn't matter what name is it, but you want to understand the meaning behind this candlestick bar. So this is what we call like a hammer. Uh, basically, is uh, you know I, how I remember it, it's like a hammer. So it's like a long lower shadow whereby you can like hold it and you can whack. All right, so something like a hammer. All right, so why is this you know price action good or even this candlestick good? So basically, you can see that um, this green bar just means that it opens um, lower. It kind of opens lower right here. All right. And you know, actually, once it opens, it went all the way down. So there's like a long lower shadow. It means prices kind of like hit down, 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 down. All right, so you can price kind of like went down in the, in the morning, all right? Uh, pretty much when the morning session started, price actually pushed down, all right? So it went down, down, down. And eventually, somewhere in the later part of the day, all right, buyers came back to take prices back up. So buyers came back and they buy, 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 buy and push prices all the way back up and it comes like close at a day high, right here at the day high. I mean, it could close like somewhere here or maybe in the middle as well, but it closed right at the day high. So when we see this hem candlestick um, price action or a candle, right? It can show that buyers are pretty much ready to come back in to defend that specific support level, especially if we see it in the area of value, all right, on these hot zones. All right, whereby you know a potential support can come. That is where we can it can show that you know your buyers are pretty much serious to come back to defend that level. We can potentially see a reversal back up, right? So if prices were to like kind of like break above the high of this day, right? This could be like a trigger day or like a signal day. So if prices were to break above the high of this day, it could be a good entry, all right, to ride the upside further right, to catch the rebound. Right, so this is just one of the price action or the candlestick that you can look for all right, in an uptrend to catch the rebound at certain areas of value in a good support level. All right. Next one will be what we call like a doji. All right. So this just means like indecision between buyers and sellers all right, in terms of like you know, buyers and sellers. You know, pretty much like it's a tug of war pulling and, and pushing and all that right and eventually close right in the center so there's like no color it's like no green or red color it just means that um you know it kind of went up and down and it opens and closes at the same price right so that is pretty much like a a, a signal whereby it can show like a, a reversal starting to happen all right especially if we see it at those good zones right the areas of value this is another one of course this will be a bit more powerful than this because there's a long upper and long lower shadow all right that can really show some you know potential reversal in decision between buyers and sellers and a potential reversal actually happening all right if we were to spot this at some really good zones all right so this is pretty much what we look for in the price action in terms of like the candlestick and, and you know pretty much the fundamentals of price action okay so let's dive back into this stock right here and you know i mentioned just now that you know this um one dollar to 110 level are uh, pretty much very good support levels whereby you know some bargain hunting or some buying pressure might come back again and we can potentially see like a rebound from these levels right but as i say we want to wait for certain you know candlestick patterns or the price action to happen at these areas before we want to think about getting in because if we just enter right here even though it hit to like 105 or one dollar and if you to break the support because we didn't really spot any like reversal price action then it might actually hit lower or it might hit to like 80 cents and all that but when we spot certain price action all right that's where we can point towards a good you know kind of a rebound starting to happen and that's where we can prepare ourselves to kind of get get in again all right to write the rebound right so you can see prices you know i mean as i say prices have kind of like gone down one two three four five days all right and then what happens on this day right here yesterday we kind of like spotted this uh what i call like a hammer all right i think we covered this down on the slides pretty much like a hammer of course we didn't really close at the day high we can close somewhere at the day high but more importantly we had this long lower shadow right here this long lower shadow as i explained just now just means that you know as we hit towards these areas of value from one dollar to one ten. Right, let me just quick to draw it for you right here. So this would be what I call um, the areas of value, right? From one dollar 
to 110. So as we approach this level, I was quite hoping to like kind of like see it, you know, you know pretty much happening, happening around that uh, 105, maybe 110 level. All right, we do see certain price action like this. That is where it can point towards, uh, you know, hey, like you no know, buyers are starting to, to come back again, or it could be a good levels to start bargain hunting again. And that's where you can think about getting in. So yes, we kind of like spotted this yesterday, all right? And today we kind of like broke the high, all right, of this day. So this day could be like a signal day, all right? We probably don't, do not want to add, you know, enter on this day because, uh, I mean, it, you know, at the end of this day, we probably wouldn't know um, this candlestick bar. So we'll wait for the next day, all right? Uh, and, you know, this bar has formed up clearly. It's like a good signal day. And the next day, we see prices kind of like breaking above, above the high of this signal day. So the high of like, you know, this bar is like about 1.17. So if we do break above like the 118, 119, or maybe even the 120, it could be a good level to start riding the recovery all the way back up here, all right? towards that 130 to maybe that 135 level. So that is a potential target that we can draw right here all the way the upside back to that 130 to 135, about a 10 to 15% upside that you know we can potentially see. So in terms of a plan, right? So of course we have some upside targets that are drawn, all right, to about 130, 135. But what about if you no know, prices to do like kind of like hit lower, all right? If you to enter, all right, and prices to hit lower, we want to think about getting out as well, right? And when would be a good level to kind of get out? So you can see right now, uh, you know, prices have kind of like rebounded yesterday all the way above the 110. So some support level, I would say probably about 110 to 115. You know? So if prices were to break below the 105 or maybe even 110, that could be a good level to have a stop loss as well to kind of put tech all right to get out all right in case prices to hit even lower and the selling continues right but right now as you can see because we kind of like spotted this bullish reversal candle yesterday there's a high probability of prices pushing higher than down but as i say that you no know, we need to be prepared for the downside as well. Don't always think about you know making money and you know, profiting and hopefully, of course, we want prices to move up, right? Then that's where we can make some money, right? But if it doesn't, right, what happens? Do, do we just hold on to the stock or do we just wait? Do, do we just hope and, and wait for it to recover next month? And in case you go to like 80 cents and 90 cents, are we still holding on to this stock? Right. No, all right. We don't have a plan to get out if it were to you know not go in our favor, or right? if prices to you know go down to like below the one ten or something, then we won't think about getting out. So those are levels where I can think about getting out. Maybe you know to give you a bit of allowance, maybe below the one ten level, one hundred eight, one hundred nine. I think that could be a good stop loss level just to, to get out first, all right, to, to wait and see because if prices were to hit there, it shows that you know this trade probably would you know start to you might see a you know a bit of weakness coming in again, right? that's where you might see more selling. So we want to get get out first, all right, rather than just holding it and then what if we break the one dollar and it hit to eighty cents and we are still holding on to it, right? So make sure you have a plan to protect the downside, right? Protect the downside, let the upside take care of itself, right? That, that's the that's key, all right. The upside will take care of itself right hopefully it goes to our target we can get out make some money or maybe it breaks the 135 you can hit to 150 or 160 great but i wouldn't know if it can happen i let the upside take care of itself but as it pushes higher i settle i take care of the downside right so take care of the downside first of course if prices starts to move higher to like 135 150 and i'm probably making money already all right then i want to take steps to protect my downside even more all right to make sure i don't lose money because i've already made money make sense all right so that's what we do all right so it's about 122 so i've kind of taken a few trades i mean we kind of added more position to catch the rebound and you know let, let me just show you what, what i did right here so this is like grand venture about 121 122 all right and we're kind of like taking a few trades like about uh, 121 kind of got in 120 we are queuing and haven't really got it yet so we see you can kind of get in about 120 120 121 maybe 122 you see about it again but you know this is where a potential entry can be taken all right it's a live trade uh, i think we can lock in some more at uh, 121 all right, and we see you can kind of push higher all the way to like 130, 135, and we can think about maybe getting out first some, or maybe wait for the break of 135 to see even push higher. All right, so this is what we have done. All right, so let's see how it plays out over the next few days. Uh, this is a live trade, so I hope we do make some money. All right, but as you can see, right, as long as we have a plan, all right, so make sure you have a plan to like kind of stop loss. Of course, I'll set my stop loss later as well, and have a plan to kind of like stop loss so that you know either way you have a plan, you're not so afraid that you know things will just go 
are in your favor. It doesn't matter whether it goes up or down. You have a plan, just go ahead to follow the plan and hopefully you make money, all right? So this is how we do it. Hey guys, welcome back. And you know, three days have passed, right? And this is like uh, this counter right here, Grand Venturing. You see that we started to push up uh, just above the 120 level again. All right, so I mentioned previously, just about three days back, I think we're somewhere around here, we kind of um, saw this uh, quite a good reversal bullish candle, right? It's something like a hammer, as I mentioned, and we kind of broke above the high of, of this day right here. So they started to consolidate over the past three to four days from like 115 to 120, all right? And this were the zones right whereby you know you could potentially time your entry to kind of catch the reversal but you know, can see today we kind of broke above this like 120 level it's like about 124 so let me just go ahead to reiterate the targets that i've drawn again maybe all the way to like 130 135 we may uh, think about adding more positions maybe you know one two three one two four we might you know probably buy more positions and think about getting out somewhere near the 130 to 135 right i think that that would be where um selling can come back again you can see right here as i mentioned this was where we were just about three weeks back um somewhere around 135 130 and the sellers started to come back so anything near there we can also think about you know taking steps to to you know protect our profits in case it were to reverse back down we want to get out but right now it seems like we are still seeing this reversal all right and this you know bullish candle as i say this bullish candle seems like it is still playing out you know the fact that we kind of like saw it right at this 110 support and you know with prices starting to push back up it can uh, potentially lead to a reversal so let's come back in the next few days again to see where we are and see if we can kind of lock in some of profits as well okay guys welcome back and two weeks have passed right and let's take a look at this company again and it seems like we are seeing a bit of bullish actions uh, coming back today all right today and over the past like two to three weeks you can see this was where we covered it there was like a little bullish candle right at the support level here this was where we kind of like got in and it was like kind of like consolidating sideways right forming what we call higher high you can see highs higher highs along the way over the past two to three weeks and higher lows as well this shows that you no know, buyers are kind of like prepared to kind of like defend the support level all right it was like con consolidating above the 115 level so it didn't really hit our stop loss below 115 it was holding quite well all right and you know, finally today we finally saw that push up so i kind of like took some profit uh for that 5,000 shares that we had about 129 right here and we might actually be seeing a bit of profit taking along the 135 maybe about like 135 134 now it's about 133 so that's where we might actually see some selling coming back again right so that was where we will uh kind of like took profit profit done all right so 5000 shares at 1.29 from that earlier order of course we are holding on to more shares but probably i'll take some profit first and see how it goes maybe i'll take more profits uh maybe about 135 bit wait for pullback to get in again all right it depends what i see but this is pretty much um yeah i mean this is pretty much this counter so because of this specific all right bullish candle here like i call it like a a, a hammer or right? a hammer whereby you know buyers kind of came back at the low and took it all the way back up this can be quite a bullish move right a bullish play a bullish signal which can indicate a potential reversal back up this is exactly what we're seeing all right we kind of got in here because we saw this candle all right and it was like consolidating and finally after like two or three weeks the move started to happen and we're heading towards the 135 resistance level all right so i took i have taken like you know some profit which is normal i mean it's, it's fine i'll take some profit first put it in my pocket and then wait for, and wait and see again it might actually break the 135 look at this right here it might actually break the 135 to hit higher all the way to maybe about 150 all right and, and that's where it can actually hit you but nothing wrong to take some profit as it pushes up because today is like up by more than five to six percent so i thought just, just lock in some first and maybe hold on to the rest to see if we can break the 135 and that's where i might even take some profit near the 150 level or maybe if it breaks 135 i might even you know load up and think about getting in uh, more positions to ride the upside further all right so this is grand venture here so pretty much just a quick cover of what has happened over the past two weeks and yeah i mean we're lucky that we kind of like uh you know made some money a few hundred dollars on, on this company hopefully we can make more if it does break the 135 all right and that's where we can look to to kind of like taking some profits right so this is uh you know grand venture here and the uptrend uh looks quite in text it might be a bit liquid so probably don't want to hold on to so much for this counter but um it's a fact whereby you know this this uptrend still looks quite intact looks really intact i think i've covered it since like may we are seeing prices holding above this upward sloping uh, channel support line. All right, and this support level, look at this, this was a horizontal support level whereby we saw this little hammer right here, something like a hammer bullish candle. So it's about $1.10. But right now we can actually shift 
this support higher to maybe about 120 i think given the move today 120 would now be i would say the new support level right this would be the 120 to 115 this would actually be the new support level so yeah I've, I've got it now i think if it did to maybe the 115 to 120 again it could be a good opportunity to kind of like time uh the entry or position ourselves to get in again to ride the uptrend especially if we see like you know more uh you know good reversal bullish candles here again like what we saw when it happened about three weeks back around the one dollar and ten cents level so the key is that you know whatever shares that you're holding or let's say if you have got in like somewhere around here as well right about 120 uh, 121 118 is around here all right and right now it's like about 134 all right so if you got in here definitely you're definitely making some money all right so your stop loss was probably you know probably below like 115 just previously like you know like us we've come put our stop loss below 115 just in case you were to break below you want to get out and reduce some exposure but you know thankfully it was just consolidating above the, this level all right we saw strip support coming in about 1.15 was consolidating and started to push higher but the point now is that we are already making money by getting in somewhere around here on this day all right 120 121 119 we've got we still have some positions and we want to make sure we protect our profits right so what we can do right now is to set our stop loss maybe if it's slightly higher we want wouldn't want to put our stop loss here i mean below 115 because it's too far away and if you really hit we will come like you know from making a profit we become making a loss of course we have taken some profit but that's fine but we still want to protect our profits for the remaining i repeat for the remaining shares that we are still holding so overall we still make money all right so we have locked in some is fine good but we still have remaining shares and we want to make sure that we still make money for that as well make sense all right so we can actually set up stop loss around here of course i'll do it later uh, that's what i'll do it in a bit right but we can set a, a stop loss maybe somewhere around here maybe about 128 129 right here all right just in case if prices were to like kind of pull back a bit um, towards this level we can also get out we still lock in our profits it's fine and we maybe wait for a dip again we can start to enter again or maybe if we were to break the 135 level or right, over the next few days if we were to break the 135 level that's where we can see you know it pushing higher potentially all the way to like 150 145 to 150 range like what we see over here that is where we can raise our stop loss even higher all right maybe to like about 133 all right just below the 135 support level and as it push higher we raise our support i'm sorry we raise our stop loss higher just to make sure that you know we, we kind of like you know protect our profits as prices were to move higher and we can think about taking profit near the 150 level as well which is perfectly fine but most importantly in terms of protecting our profits we want to take steps to make sure that we don't lose money all right when we are already in the money right now all right all right so there we have it guys uh i think we have pretty much come to the end of this video it's about 20 over minutes already so i think you kind of like have an idea of how do we uh kind of like get in and get out all right what kind of price action do we want to look for and where do we want to look for it right so in this case here we are looking at a pretty decent uh, good uptrending stock so we can think about buying into stocks like this but not just buy anywhere but buy whenever we uh, see dips right and dips to certain support level and at this support level that's where we see uh, certain bullish reversal candles that can help to uh, you know point towards like a good reversal like what we are seeing right now so there can actually be a bit more ups let's say for this company uh, if we do break the 135 and that's where we may be looking to get in again or maybe as you push higher we can also take profit as well well, right so i hope that by watching this video you now have a clearer idea of what to look out for what is an uptrend when do you get in when do you want to get out potentially take some profit and of course i think i talked about this step that's very important which is to protect your profits right so that is key a lot of people you know when it pushes higher you know they become greedy and you want to like raise their target higher and take profit higher and if it does not touch then it comes back down and they will not do anything right and it comes back down 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 and eventually it becomes back to like the same price you just bought so from like making a profit it becomes like a break even from break even worse it might be even become a loss all right so we don't want that to happen all right so no matter what we make money when we are already making money all right of course we want it to we want it to make more we want prices to push higher but if it doesn't happen doesn't matter all right that's where we still lock in our profits a bit lesser is fine we wait for a, you know kind of like an opportunity to kind of get in again but overall for that whole entire specific trade setup that's where you actually make money all right so yes i hope you like this video and if you do like this video guys go ahead to um smash the subscribe button and of course give me a like as well it will definitely help out the youtube channel and thank you so much for doing that and let me know let me know in the comments below let me know in the comments below what is your biggest takeaway in this whole entire video where we talk about the 
ultimate price action for beginners, right? What, what have you learned about price action? Let me know in the comments below what's the biggest takeaway, uh, which part of this video you find it really interesting, which part of the video do you find, uh, you know, like whereby it's, it's really powerful and that's what you can implement and apply it right away. Let me know in the comments below and I will be replying your comments, right? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, ultimate price action video. Just prepared for beginners like yourself. If you're a beginner, all right, and, and that's where you can learn something. If you want to find a bit more on the entire framework and you know how we actually use a system to guide us on entry and exit on maybe even stocks like this, whereby we actually had kind of like a couple of good bullish entry and exit signals on like a system which I'm using. That is where you can attend one of those uh, free web class that I'm still running. All right, go ahead to click on the link uh, below this video. I'll put it somewhere, click on the link, and then one of those free web classes where I'll share with you the entire framework. And I'm sure it will definitely help you. It will give you much more clarity. And that's where you can learn even more, right? So Joey here, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below, let me know your takeaway, and I shall see you in next video.